changed by Bill Belichick's way, and you get changed by the Patriot way, and now that I'm a Patriot, I have to start living like one and, and making the right decisions for them. Hernandez arrested, cut from his team, charged with murder. This gentleman, either by himself or with two other people, basically cold-blooded, in a cold-blooded fashion, killed a person. Aaron Hernandez was arrested and charged with first-degree murder of 27-year-old Odin Lloyd, a semi-pro football player whose body was found in an industrial park about a mile from former New England Patriots home. And now we're learning Hernandez was removed from several draft boards in 2010 due to sketchy associates and failed drug tests at Florida. Well, being prior behavior is an indication of future behavior. Here's the question, Skip, and I'll turn to you. Um, did the Patriots make a huge mistake by drafting and signing Aaron Hernandez? Signed him five years, $40 million commitment, Stephen A. I'm going to say they did not make a huge mistake. I'm going to say in their shoes, I would have taken the same gamble on Aaron Hernandez, Stephen A. And as you know, I've been a Patriot supporter on this show. But for all the talk, about the Patriot Way and the first class New England Patriot organization, the exemplary organization in pro football, blah, blah, blah. I want you to know that if you look hard enough, the Patriots have been the Raiders East for the last six or eight years because Bill Belichick has taken risk after risk after risk on players with, let me say, character or baggage issues. Corey Dillon, Randy Moss, Albert Hainsworth, Chad Ochocinco, Akib Tlaib. I could go on and on. So they were able to steal an Aaron Hernandez in the fourth round, a player with first round talent because he did flunk a drug test before that draft. Did the Patriots, through their security and their reconnaissance, did they know of his gang affiliation in high school here in Bristol, Connecticut? I'm pretty sure that they did. Did they work through an Urban Meyer, a coach that Belichick is very close to when Urban was the co head coach at Florida? I'm sure they did. I think they knew that there was high risk here. But then what happened? Aaron Hernandez was exemplary for a long, long time as a Patriot. I'm talking about in the football context, Aaron Hernandez showed up on time. He failed, according to the Boston Globe, quoting the Patriots, no drug tests, failed no drug tests. He worked hard, he played hard, he played very well, and he was a great teammate by all accounts. So after that, after he'd proven that much, I would have taken the plunge and given him his five-year contract. To me, this is the classic case, and I'm going to take a plunge here myself. This is what I call a sociopath. This is a man who is soulless. This is the classic case of the serial killer that lived down the block, and all the neighbors say, he seemed like such a nice guy because I think the Patriots had no idea this was going on behind the scenes. Should their security people have kept closer tabs? Should they have smelled trouble? Maybe. But I think that Aaron Hernandez got away with crime after crime after crime. And I'm leaping to that assumption because the Patriots leaped to that assumption right out of the box. They caught him immediately because they heard all the mountain of circumstantial evidence against Aaron Hernandez. So I'm leaping to the conclusion he's just a bad guy. Mm -hmm. Just, again, soulless is the best description. Sociopath and cannot be trusted and was probably involved in other shootings as, and this will start to come out as it goes to trial. So to me, I would have been duped by this. I would have closed my eyes in the gladiator sport of football and plunged with a five-year commitment because football-wise, he had been nothing but exemplary. The floor is yours. It's a lot to go with here. Let me be very clear. <clears throat> Number one. When we talk about Aaron Hernandez, let's be clear about something. I'm not going to jump to the conclusion that he's guilty. Do I believe he is? Yeah, I do. But I want to be very, very careful because, you know, we, we pride ourselves, at least from a legal perspective, yep. innocence until proven guilty. And sometimes we need to exercise that in the court of public opinion, despite the preponderance of evidence. There's been plenty of people who have been accused I of agree. things and have gotten off or have been found to not be guilty of what they were, were accused of. So let's be mindful of that. With that being said, however, I'm going to somewhat disagree with you. I have no problem with the, Lake, with the Lakers, with the Patriots, signing Aaron Hernandez. 
What I have a problem with is the contract they gave him. Five years, $41 million, $12.5 million guaranteed to the point where even though this boy is in jail, he can still collect about an additional $2.5 million, even though I've been yep. told, go ahead and bet your money that on that if you want to. Robert Kraft will sit there and look him in the face and say, sue me, you ain't getting yep. a dime. All right, but, but, but the point is, to find yourself in that kind of position, to give this man a contract, knowing this is the NFL we're talking about, knowing the bevy of issues that the NFL has been tackling throughout the years, knowing that the NFL being the brand that it is, having the collective bargaining agreement that it has in place, you could have gotten him for less of a commitment. You didn't have to give him five oh, a years. A lot of people thought they stole him. Well, what I'm saying I mean, to you is they got him what, cheap. What I'm saying to you is there could have been behavioral issues incorporated into the contract oh, okay. to sort of Okay. Give you some sort of a cushion. Yeah, sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you walking around, and, and, and listen, and, and we'll talk about this a little bit later on in the show, but how you present yourself is just as important sometimes as how you conduct yourself. You look at Aaron Hernandez with all of those tats and some of the things those tats said. You know, that's a problem. That's usually a red flag. Sorry, America. Swear it is. It's number one. Number two, not just how you present yourself, but from what I understand, he wasn't always the model teammate. I recall somebody talking about an incident in the locker room when Wes Welker was just joking around with him, and he had to, and, and Aaron Hernandez uh, had to be restrained from going after him when he was a rookie or something like that because Wes Welker, he didn't appreciate it. And some of the stuff that was coming out of his mouth and the temper tantrums that he was having, it was a problem. I recall, I forgot the name. But it was somebody that was on a, a member of the New England Patriots offensive line saying he didn't like Hernandez too much, didn't like what he represented. Yeah. So, yeah, from a now public... Now you're back to tattoos. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking, no, no, I'm talking no. about in terms of how he conducted himself as a member of the team. Right. They, 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 didn't, they didn't vibe with what, how he conducted himself. Right. All I'm simply saying is, is that we may not have read about it in the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald, or ESPN Boston, or whatever the case may be, but that doesn't mean that this dude was as flawless as we're trying to paint him out to be. Which brings us to the New England Patriots. Yes, you have taken chances. Yes, you are a renegade. And no, the New England Patriots do not deserve to be flogged and insulted and all of this other stuff because how are you supposed to see, to use your words, a sociopath? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. But there's a guy by the name of Christopher Gasper who wrote a column in a Boston Globe. And one of the things he says here is I think is very profound. He says if the Patriots are guilty of anything, it was letting Hernandez use the misguided belief that their building and their uniforms somehow build character or instill it where it doesn't exist against them. I think that's a very profound statement. Yeah. Because with Bill Belichick, who hadn't won championships as a head coach as of yet, had done this if he wasn't the championship coach, if he wasn't deified as one of the greatest to ever bless the sport, there's a level of cachet that that buys you. It buys you a Randy Moss. It buys you a bevy of other dudes, not to compare them to Aaron Hernandez. I mean, no, no intentions in, in drawing that comparison. I'm simply saying, if you are Bill Belichick and you are the New England Patriots, you roll the dice from time to time because America has given you the impression that you can get away with it. Does that make them at fault in any way in regards to what Aaron Hernandez has allegedly done? Absolutely not. But it doesn't absolve them from failing to do their due diligence yep. and their homework to find out who these are. These guys are. Skip, me and you, we work for ESPN. We roll up, somebody roll up in here on the show with us. We looking them up and down. We're scoping them. We're paying attention. How you walk, how you talk, how you speak, how you act, who you keep company with, all of this other stuff. And that's just for a damn interview. <laughs> if I'm investing millions upon millions of dollars in yep. you, trust me, I'm going to do background check. And my last point is this. I've covered the NBA close to 20 years. I'm not going to mention their names because I don't know if they would want me to. But there's a whole bunch of people associated with security in the NBA yep. that I have known for many years. I admire and respect these individuals. 
They are FBI, former FBI agents. They're former DEA agents. They're local PDs. They're private detectives. They are the elite of the elite. They know what they're doing. I'm talking about NFL, yeah. NBA, all this stuff. I know some of these guys, okay? If you care enough, man, you can find out what color underwear these boys are wearing on a daily basis if you mm-hmm. want to. If you cared enough. Mm-hmm. So definitely, there was some due diligence yep. that was not performed because all, it, the hits are there. Yeah, sure. All you got to do is pay attention. Sure. Okay, I, I will give you this. I think Aaron Hernandez was able to hide behind the Patriot way, the okay. first-class Patriots. It okay. allowed him to operate in shadows because he was he was seen as part of a first-class organization. So you you tend to look the other way at what he does because now they have blessed their Aaron Hernandez. They've given him his yeah. money, so he must be okay. They right? blessed them. No, right? that's the right word. Yeah. And maybe he was even able to hide behind Tim Tebow at the University of Florida because he was a favorite receiver of Tebow's. He was a teammate of Tebow's. He was there with Tebow. That's so, a, that, you so know, that's a very legitimate point. Maybe he point. got away with some things. Maybe they looked the other way because Tebow would vouch for him. Or you look about the other the way because Tebow. you're preoccupied with Tebow sure. and you ain't paying attention right. to him. And allegedly, I, I read the report that Tebow stopped the fight. Stopped, stopped the fight. fight yeah. Got him out of the fight. Yeah, sure. and I, I couldn't figure out what Tebow was doing he here He probably place, said, he's alive. Oh, he was protecting life. care of his sheep. But there was a questionable <laughs> shooting that, that he was not um, accused of, right? The, the shooting that happened in Gainesville let's when sure. he was a freshman. Listen, let's call it space space. Yeah. Aaron Hernandez don't look too good right now. He does not. He looks very, 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 very incriminated. Very, very guilty. And, and obviously, we want to let the courts decide through its, you know, investigations, evidence, the whole court process, what really, really happened. Mm-hmm. But it, there's no, there's nobody out here today that's walking around going like this. Well, you know what? I, I don't believe Aaron Hernandez is guilty. Of anything. Oh, yeah, you can't no. find nobody like that. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah. let's yeah. just call it what Former it. teammate uh, Matt Light can't can't said that. to the Daytona Daily News, Matt Light. Matt Light. I That's never talk name. about other yeah. guys, but I will say I have never embraced, never believed in anything Aaron Hernandez stood for. That's the quote I was alluding to, Skip. All right, well, listen, while the Patriots may have taken a hit with this Hernandez situation, there's still more to come, as Stephen A. just mentioned, uh, as this came.